Shalom. Call Hello, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakaha, Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles, double honors unto the elder bishops. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. The would be judges, the 144,000, and the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth that be among the heathen nations that look like those heathen nations. This is not a black thing. And to the few Akwath that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago, coming at you with another lesson in truth. And uh, I'm going to play about a little bit over five minutes of this video from the Dina uh, Calmetta and uh, a news channel. I've probably been watching her for about a good uh, four or five years now, going on about that time. Um, and she reports on the news and she also tries to go into the scriptures and you would think that, uh, you know, she would uh, stop. You know, I've, I've made comments on her videos before because she's on point with her news. But, you know, she, she teaches that rapture, which is not scriptural. She teaches that God loves everybody, love doctrine and, you know, all nations can make it. And that's not scriptural either. You know, I guess, and clearly she hasn't read, you know, in Timothy and Corinthians. You know, when a woman is instructed not to, to attempt to teach, not to bring confusion, that a woman is not to even speak in the church. All right. But but anyway, um, let's get straight to the to the news here. Um, as you can see, Joe Biden, it says, is Joe Biden trying to start World War Three before he leaves office? The decision to use long range missiles to strike targets deep inside Russia is insane. And they're going west, uh, 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 going crazy. Over in uh, over over there in Western Asia, that they fraudulently, you know, call the Middle East. I remember they made that term up so they can fit into the false categories of of, uh, of of race that they created. You know, race according to color and all that other all that other mess. All right, and color, you know, did play a role in the beginning, but being that the nations have scattered, the most important people are scattered and scattered among all people. Upon the face of the earth, well, you can't determine the Israelites by color anymore. All right, it's an indicator, just like you can't, you know, determine that every person that looks like, you know, BB Net Netanyahu is, a, is an Edomite. All right, uh, now we know he definitely is one, but everyone that looks like him isn't. And and if you can't uh, embrace that, if you can't understand that, then the spirit of the Lord is not with you. All right, you you clearly don't have understanding, and the Lord's not giving it to you. All right. Because, uh, you know, especially here in America, if you go back about 70 years and then beyond, if you go back, you know, go back about 70 years and then go back another two or 300 years, you know, uh, so-called white men have been r raping, you know, Israelite women uh, the whole time in this, in, the, in what they call the civilized world. They were constantly raping, uh, you know, so-called Negro, Latino, Native American women here in the Americas, and no one ever went to jail. No one ever, you know, none of them ever were held accountable for it. And and as a result of that hundreds of years of raping, uh, they made a lot of tear babies because according to the Bible, you are the seed of your father. So now that, you know, the spirit led me to say all that, uh, let me grab this scripture because this thing is not going to turn back. Everyone's hoping that, it's, that it stops, you know, they're, they're, they're doing, they're drafting up uh, documents to impeach uh, Biden right now, you know, uh, for what he's doing. And uh, now, and like they said, we're going to see if, if uh, Putin's going to stand on his word because Biden was like, I crossed that red line, now what? <laughs> you know, so we'll see. But this is Joel, the second chapter, and I'm gonna, uh, starting in verse uh, two, I'm going to read verse two. Uh, I'm sorry, for Joel 3 and 2. And it reads, And I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people, for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. All right? So the Lord is still angry because the Israelites are scattered and you got 
Edomites and Ammonite, uh, you know, uh, Edomites, Am Amalekites, uh, you got Hamites, the Ethiopians, you have uh, uh, Ishmaelites, the Palestinians, you know, you got all these people over there in the land that was promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that are not supposed to be there, all right? You know, those those Israelis are, are, are of... Uh, or Isaac's sons, Esau, Jacob's twin brother, not Jacob himself. Okay, so they are Shemitic, but they're Shemitic Edomites, all right, which are the enemies of the Lord's people, the Hebrew, you know, Israelites, all right? Both from Isaac, both from Abraham, but, you know, uh, they're the Edomites. So as a matter of fact, let's go to Isaiah, because something's got to happen to keep this thing continuing to get it to these steps. So because uh now NATO is 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 in fear and that that you know that uh Russia is going to smash on them and and you can begin to see how when it says a nation shall hate the whore, all right? Because the Israelis have successfully drug everybody into this and now America in, instead of resisting the Israelis are, are are joining right on to them and drawing the rest of Europe into this, the rest of the EU and NATO into it, and they don't want any parts of this. All right, so you can see the you know the build up to how the missiles are going to fly, and then the Lord's going to take control of them and guide them to Babylon, and everybody's going to shoot their arrows at Babylon, including their own allies. You can you can clearly see that that starting to happen. All right, but this is Isaiah thirty four. And uh, I'm going to start at verse uh, 3. And it reads, Their slain also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses, and the mountains shall be melted with their blood. And this is talking about over there in the valley of Jehoshaphat, and in the, in, in, you know, which is in uh, Western Asia. All right. And it says, And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved, the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. And all their hosts shall fall down as a leaf falleth from the vine and as a and, and as a falling fig from the fig tree. All right. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven and be and behold, it shall come down upon Idumia and upon the people of my curse to judgment. So the Idumia, Idumia is the is the Greek way of saying uh, Edom and Edom, or the Edomites, es, Esau, Esav. All right. As the Israelis say, uh, that so-called white people. As a matter of fact, is the Israelis point out that white Christianity is Esav, but uh, they're Esav too. Okay, it says, uh, it says, uh, the sword of Yahweh will be filled with blood. It will may be made fat with fatness of the blood of lambs and goats and the fats of kidneys and rams, and Yahweh, and that's basically the bodies of the people, you know, and their equipment and things. Uh, that's going that the Lord is going to destroy, all right? Because the Lord is, you know, he 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 wants a, a sacrifice of blood with fire, all right? And he's going to have a sacrifice in Basra. Matter of fact, I'm about to read it. For Yahweh have a sacrifice in Basra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumia. So wherever the Edomites are, wherever so-called white people are, all right, or even the Edomites that don't look white, it doesn't matter. Wherever they are in the earth, okay, the Lord is going to uh, you know, have a sacrifice on them. And all the unicorns shall come down. It's talking about their satellite, satellites and stuff. All right. And the bullocks with the bulls and their land shall be soaked with blood and their dust shall be made fat with the fatness. For it is the day of Yahweh's vengeance and the year of his recompenses for the controversy of Zion. So this argument that we are not the people of the Lord. Well, and, and you know, there is no argument. <laughs> You know, they're just trying to hold on to a lie. And like the scripture says, in the place where it was said, you are not my people, there it, sh it shall be said that you are my people. So uh, without any further ado, uh, Dina Calmeta. It's Dina Calmeta here with CWW7 News. And for today's show, I wanted to start with a piece written by Michael Schneider of The Most Important News. And if you're interested, Michael is also the author of several different books and websites. So I'll leave his information below this video. But he asked the question that I'm sure is on everybody's mind. 
Is Joe Biden trying to start World War III before he leaves office? The decision to use long-range missiles to strike targets deep inside Russia is insane. He goes on to state that as if everything that Joe Biden has done so far was not enough, now he has decided to push us to the brink of nuclear war. On Sunday, Joe Biden decided to allow Ukraine to use long-range missiles provided by the United States to hit targets deep inside of Russia. This is a bombshell, Michael says. I don't know how else to put it. The Russians have already warned us how they will respond if long-range missiles provided by the United States and other NATO countries start raining down on their cities. Sadly, most Americans have no idea what a direct conflict with Russia would mean. He goes on further to state that everyone needs to clearly understand what just happened because this is a major turning point. He goes on further to state that one of the reasons why I'm so upset is because this wasn't his decision to make. We just had an election and his side lost. The American people elected a leader that wants to bring the war in Ukraine to an end. But now Joe Biden is trying to make sure that nobody is going to be able to end this war. According to CBS News, one of the reasons why this decision was made was to put Ukraine in a better negotiating position when and if peace talks happen. Michael goes on to ask the question, are you kidding me? That is nonsense. President-elect Donald Trump needs to come forward immediately and denounce this move because we could be facing a scenario where events spiral out of control before he even has the opportunity to take office. When Putin was asked about the possibility that long-range missiles provided by the U.S. could soon be used to hit targets deep inside Russia, he responded by warning that such a move would mean that the U.S. and European countries are at war with Russia. Quote, we are not talking about allowing or not allowing the Ukrainian regime to strike Russia with these weapons. We are talking about deciding whether NATO countries are directly involved in the military conflict or not. This will mean that NATO countries, the U.S. and European countries are at war with Russia. And if this is so, then bearing in mind the change in the very essence of this conflict, we will make appropriate decisions based on the threats that will be created for us, end of quote. With that said, Joe Biden just called Putin's bluff. We just crossed that line, and there is no going back. Now we will see if Putin was bluffing or not. Later in September, Putin explained that a joint attack on the Russian Federation could trigger the use of nuclear weapons. He warned that a new nuclear doctrine would clearly set the conditions for Russia to transition to using nuclear weapons. He said that Russia would consider such a possibility of using nuclear weapons if it is detected the start of a massive launch of missiles, aircraft, and drones into its territory, which presented a critical threat to the country's sovereignty. Putin also said that it is proposed that aggression against Russia by any non-nuclear state, by with the participation or support of a nuclear state, be considered as their joint attack on the Russian Federation. The Russians have told us that allowing Ukraine to fire long-range missiles deep into their territory could cause a nuclear war. But Joe Biden did it anyway. Just imagine how you would feel if some foreign power was firing long-range missiles into Washington, D.C. and New York City. If someone did that to us, we would nuke them. I want everyone out there to understand the gravity of the scenario that we are facing. Now, of course, the Russians have been escalating matters as well. In fact, they just hit targets all over Ukraine using 120 missiles and almost 100 drones. Meanwhile, the war in the Middle East threatens to spiral completely out of control. On Sunday, the Zero Hedge was reporting that Israeli troops were seen fighting at a location that is three miles north of the Lebanese border. The IDF has been bombing Syria on almost a daily basis, and we are waiting for the next Iranian attack on Israel, which could literally occur at any moment. Even though we could see these wars coming way in advance, nobody has been able to stop them. Now, just and that's, an, you don't need to hear any more. They, they can't be stopped because it's the determination of the Lord. I'm going to get that scripture. The Lord wants these wars to happen because it's going to because of the controversy of Zion and he's going to establish the kingdom of heaven. All right. And establish a new government on earth, the heavenly government, which is the hundred and forty four thousand of the twelve tribes of Israel and set up the Israelites as the rulers of the earth, of the heavens, of the universe, for that matter, forever under under the under uh, the authority of his son, you know, who was our savior, Yahweh Shai. 
King David and the rest of the 144,000. All right. A seed line of people, a royal people who are not uh, in control of the world. Those are the very opposite, the base of men, the evil twins. All right. This is the Edomites, but this is Daniel 4 and 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will and set up over it the bases of men. The earth was given into the hands of the wicked. All right. They covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who who is he? Then, you know, that's talking about the Edomites, the bases of men. The Lord set up the lowest you know, and put them on top, which is an insult and shame to the Israelites and the other nations because Esau is the lowest people on the totem pole, but yet they're the rulers of the earth. All right. So let's go to uh, Zephaniah 3 and 8. And it reads... Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith Yahweh, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble, all, uh, assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with fire, with the fire of my jealousy. So the earth is getting ready to punish. Literally, the whole world is about to get it. All right, but the whole world is not going to be destroyed, only completely destroyed. Only Babylon the Great is going to be completely destroyed, and that is uh, America. All right. Um, now let me shoot over to Job 33 and start at 14 here. And it reads But God speaketh once, yet twice, yet man perceiveth not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men and slumbering upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men and selleth their instruction. So when you think that you're, you know, you got free will and you're making your own decisions, you're not. The Lord is guiding you, you, you guiding you to make you do, to make you go off or make you stay on the right course. All right. As simple as that. And Biden, if you know, three weeks ago, you know, three years ago. He didn't know that he was going to to uh, 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 send missiles over to long range missiles that could reach deep into to Russia, that could reach Moscow. He didn't know he was going to do that. And he's you know, he's put the world in hands because the price of gold shot up again. It had kind of come down some. That's how you know that they so full of shit and gold is the real currency, because every time the threats come that's threatened peace and safety, gold and silver goes up. Precious metals go up. All right, because they know that, that eventually it's going to be the end of money, which is the next thing. The microchip is coming, the digit, digital thing. So we know that these that World War Three is not going to go full blown. All right. It has begun, but it's not going to go full blown until, you know, we still have to have the Civil War and the race riots and the implement of the uh, of the MOTB, the micro C hip, the Karagma. And that's and that's all in, in the works. All that is happening. The wheels are spinning on that, too. All right, let's go to uh, Isaiah. This will be the last scripture, Isaiah 14. And 26. And 27, and it reads, This is the purpose that is purposed upon the whole earth. And this is the hand that is stretched out upon all nations. For Yahweh of hosts, the armies, the armies of heaven, right, the Lord of Sabaoth, all right. For Yahweh of hosts have purposed and who shall disannul it? And his hand is stretched out and who shall turn it back? There is not going to be peace. All right. They were screaming peace a week ago that, that you know, that Trump was going to put an end to the wars. And now look where we are. And if they say peace, then it's going to break out again. The scripture clearly says for when they say peace and safety, certain destruction shall come. And it's, it's the Lord's, it's the determination of Yahweh to gather the nations together, to destroy the nation of Edom, to bring, to destroy all the nation's power structures and set up the power structure of Yasharala. All right. The true Israelites whom, whom are still scattered 
among the nations. All right. So with that, I'm going to give all praises, all honor and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakaha Kodash, Kwam, Yasurala, Abad Babal.